What's up guys? Hope you guys are all doing well. So I wanted to touch a little bit about uh, I'm actually here at one of our beautiful parks and as I told you before that uh, you know the weather was starting to get better we're starting to get warmer temps and uh, I'm loving it a little bit breezy it's a little bit wet out here because of all the snow that we had has melted the ground is real soft right now at least the upper part is below that is probably frozen still but anyhow I wanted to talk a little bit about how the diff differences there are with Philippine children and American children. Uh, now, I don't know a whole lot about the Philippine children, but I can say with having family there um, and uh, with, with my, my sister-in-law having children, she's got two beautiful children. She got a little boy, she got a little boy, a girl, and uh, I can honestly tell you just from being there as many times as I have been, what I have seen was, and, and it kind of blows my mind because I noticed that Philippine children are very respectful when it comes to their parents, grandparents, and or for anybody for that matter. And that really got me because the difference between Philippine kids and American kids, and I can't speak for all kids here, just like I can't speak for all kids in the Philippines, but I can honestly tell you that here you don't really see that too often. <laughs> here, most kids are spoiled. Um, you know, you grow up a certain way, and you know, well, let's just say you have good parenting and you got bad parenting. Uh, you may have a kid that is very disrespectful towards other people, very disrespectful towards his own parents. If you were to set a box of toys down in a group of Philippine kids and a group of American kids, chances are that the American kids are going to dig into that box before they're even asked to do it. The Philippine children will not do that. They'll stand there, they'll look at it, but they won't touch it. It's the same thing as sitting down with having food on the table. A Philippine child will not just dig into the food. He waits patiently until everybody is ready to eat. Here, most kids are going to dig right into it. They grab, whatever's, grab whatever they can get in their hand and they're shoving it in their mouth. huge difference, a huge difference with kids here and there. Um, you know, it's it's all about the upbringing. And in the Philippines, you're taught these things when you're, when you're just a, a child. You have respect towards others. And you be, you be kind and you do for others. Here you're not necessarily, <laughs> you're not necessarily taught that. Now listen, man, I say these things about here because I'm American and I grew up here as a kid. And I wasn't taught those things, okay? So, you know, as you get older, you start maturing and you realize that you have to be a certain way in society, you know, to, I guess, be accepted. I don't know. But it's a huge problem here when it comes to, you know, it's a huge problem when it comes to um, kids, you know. And the only thing I can say, y'all, is they're just spoiled. They're spoiled. You know, the parent always wants to, wants to you know, as you can tell, I'm no expert at this. I just like talking about these sort of things because I see differences in the cultures. The American culture is so far out there with 
it's all about material things and wanting to get my kid that that gift that he's been asking for <laughs> I'm sure in certain circumstances in the Philippines those that have wealth it may be the same way I don't know as far as having things provided for you um, because you know the fortune is there to provide it but all in all yeah, there, there's a serious problem here. You're probably going to hear air, uh, the wind noise coming through that camera, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know how this is going to go, y'all. But, um, you know, every time I've come up to this park, because I have my, my drone with me, every time I come up to this park, it's windy. I haven't had the chance to fly my drone. Um, I'm a beginner at it and there was only one time that I flew my drone that I had some success with it and it because it wasn't windy but every time I come up to this park it's windy it's a beautiful park um, they do a lot of walking here a lot of activity here in the summertime um, yeah it's still we're in the spring now but as you can see we don't have leaves on the trees yet um, but it is what it is. So, Philippine children, American children, huge difference. I'm pretty sure in different cultures, the children there could very well be like the Philippine children. Very respectful. It's just that here, because of the opportunity that's here, and you grow up a certain way, um, it it's just one of those things, y'all. I mean... We just grew up a different way here that's all and it's unfortunate that you know you have kids that are not respectful towards others you know they're not respectful towards their parents towards their grandparents towards you know what i mean so towards other kids they're mean towards other kids even it's all in how you're brought up and that's about all i got to say about it I honestly can only speak for the things that I have seen. Um, I have had, this is a whole different topic, but I have had, while in the Philippines, kids come up to me and, you know, pull at the back of my shirt because they want money. My wife explaining to me, yeah, you don't want to give them money because you have parents in the Philippines that tell their kids to go do these things. So, you know, we kind of fall a little bit when it comes to, to innocent children. But uh, over there, it has become a problem. So, um, that, in my opinion, that child is being taught to do the wrong. You know, and, and I understand that, you know, I understand that it's hardship over there for a lot of people. But you don't want to teach your child to to run up to a foreigner and try to get money out of him just because you're an innocent child you know what I mean so you know it's a good thing my my wife was there and, and she explained that to me because you know I probably would have ended up giving this little child some, some money but still you know they have hardship and you can't help everybody you know so when it comes to Philippine children, American children, by far, the Philippine children take uh, take the um, first place award when it comes to respect and how they treat other people. And I don't even know where to place American kids because, yeah, I don't even know. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Keep it real, you guys, and I'll talk to you guys real soon here. And uh, love the ones you're with. That's important. Talk to you guys later. To the beat, my favorite song.